strike summer. It's a variety of work stoppages, protests and rallies by unions across the country this summer, including right here in Tucson. And that includes a rally by machinists at Raytheon earlier this afternoon. The machinists will begin their preparations for contract negotiations next week and hope to sit down at the bargaining table next month. The union is asking for raises, specifically raises that will help them stay even with the high inflation rates, which has eaten into their buying power. There are 1,300 machinists at Raytheon, and while they say they hope contract negotiations go well, a strike always looms in the future. Fox 11's Bud Foster joining us now. He's been talking to union leaders, and Bud, they're calling this a hot strike summer. What exactly does that even mean? Well, I asked that very same question, Ashley, and they said, well, first of all, it is hot. It is so hot that when I talked to some of the folks out on that uh, rally this afternoon, their phones died because of the heat. So it's very hot out there. But secondly, there are uh, strikes or talks of strikes all over the country right now. Think Hollywood. Uh, as union activity has geared up after slowing down during a pandemic, same thing happening in Tucson. Lots of union activity here right now. Here in town, we've seen several workplaces which have either voted to go union or using union power to get better compensation pack packages and better working conditions. The nurses at Carondelet held a work stoppage this spring to demand better working conditions. The employees at Starbucks voted to unionize and to go on strike for better pay. And teachers at Basis Charter School voted to unionize, the first and only charter in the state to do so. Workers are braving the elements out here to get what they say they need. Hot Strike Summer is workers that are Standing, it's it's summertime, it's hot out, and on the table is the, the strikes. People wanting fair and equitable contracts, and workers are, are not standing while uh while the corporations or the employers are making billions off of our labor, workers are ready to strike. Yeah, and actually, while the strike is not inevitable, like what's going on in the movie industry right now, it is a tool which the unions say they can use if, in fact, those negotiations break down. Yeah, lots of people out there braving the heat. Uh, yeah. But what's the rally at Raytheon hoping to accomplish? Uh, well, those contract negotiations are just getting straight, uh, started. So the rally today was solidarity. Several different unions were out there. Several different unions were represented. Uh, so they came out to show their support for the machinists who are uh, starting their contract negotiations at Raytheon. And as you just heard, the workers are seeing record corporate profits and record high CEO paychecks. And so they're demanding that they share in that wealth. We've heard over and over again in the strikes of Hollywood, the actors and the writers are saying that you know corporations are making all this money and they're not. The machinists said they have a good relationship with Raytheon, but they're asking for higher pay and better retirement benefits and better medical benefits. Just because some other places are striking doesn't mean that it will happen here. But even before the negotiations begin, that is the talk. Um, if Raytheon doesn't work with us at the table or they give us a really bad contract, a strike is always on the table as an option. Um, we don't want to see it get that far. We really don't. We would like Raytheon to bargain in good faith. That way we can take care of our members. Well, so the unions are continuing to prepare for those negotiations right now. Union membership, by the way, is continuing to climb across the country. Uh, so they're doing what they can to show why they believe that unions are a worker's tool. We'll see if membership increases as time goes on. We'll also see what happens between the negotiations uh, between Raytheon and the machinists. Uh, I'm Bud Foster, Fox 11 News. All right, Bud, thank you. Meanwhile, members of the United Auto Workers Union have overwhelmingly approved possible strikes against the three big automakers. The union approved a strike authorization against General Motors, Ford, and Stellantis, seller of Ram, Dodge, Jeep, and Chrysler. The union is demanding significant pay raises to keep pace with what the executives made over the past four years. Union President Sean Fain says they are also trying to protect its members during the transition to electric vehicles vehicles in the years ahead. The possible strikes could take place next month. 
The likelihood of a future rate hikes took center stage at a key economic forum in Wyoming today. This comes as mortgage rates across the country are soaring and consumers appear to be more anxious about the economy. Today, Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell revealed his likely steps as the battle to curb high inflation wages on. Although inflation has moved down from its peak, a welcome development, it remains too high. We are prepared to raise rates further if appropriate and intend to hold policy at a restrictive level until we are confident that inflation is moving sustainably down toward our objective. Powell added that loan growth has slowed, which is a troubling sign for the broader economy and could slow economic growth.